What's up, all? Monday morning, August 27th, about 6.30 a.m. Plan today is to get the Pine Knob Shelter. I think it's 13.1 from here. Terrain looks pretty good halfway through to the shelter. And I also believe when I hit that 13 mile mark, or thereabouts, real close, I'm at 100 miles. That'll be cool. That'll work. First, like, real milestone. Well, I guess the first one was when I got past the mileage I did when I got the Addis Gap. So, but that was a private, um, that was a private one, just amongst myself, because I only went to 63.7 miles, and as soon as I passed that, that was good. Um, I have to figure out which way I need to go. Uh, where's north? Where's north? Where's south? I don't know which way I'm going. I'll figure it out. I have to pull all gut hooks. Now, why can't I find a bathtub just like that right there at the end of the day? I'm only a mile and a half in. Oh, my. Yeah, that, see, that would be perfect. End of the day. Get in there, just soak a little bit, just wash some of the funk off. Nice. Oh, it's about 8.30, quarter to 9 in the morning, a few miles in. Wow, it's humid today. It's very hot and humid. Um, I'm just pouring sweat. So, hopefully, when I get to this Ensign Caldwell shelter, I'll have enough service to upload yesterday's video. If not, I'll keep periodically stopping along the trail to find the place I hate to back them up. Because until I get that one up, I'm really not going to record much. So hopefully, hopefully, I'll keep on looking at the wrong side of the phone. Okay. <sighs> I hope this isn't a false summit. I think this is my... Biggest climb of the day, then I'll drop down, then one last climb before a lot of flat. So, alrighty. Alright, nice little field walk. Coming to the opening here. I'm like one point, oh no, one mile, 1.1 1 .1 miles away from the first shelter of the day, which I'll go um, relax there a little. I've been pushing. I don't know why I keep pushing. I say I'm going to take it easy, but I'm pushing, but I, I feel fine. So um, I ran into a northbounder, he says, right after that shelter, get water because the next climb is brutal. So I'm going to take a nice rest, have some Sour Patch Kids, Snickers Bar or two at the Instant Caldwell shelter, and then head towards the Pine Knob, or I don't know what it's called. I think it's Pine Knob, right? Pine Ridge, Pine Knob. Um, the humidity and the few ups today are really beating me up. I mean, they're beating me up. I still have seven miles to Pine Knob or, again, whatever. It is. And I just looked at it. You know, I never claim to be the brightest bulb in the chandelier. Remember that. I get by on common sense. I know there's a shelter seven miles from here. But I'm slowing down enough that, I mean, the train looks pretty good, but... It might be tough, so I found the rock. Put my ground sheet there. Now with the ground sheet laid down, I'm just laying here and this big old rock is sucking all the heat out of my body. I, I mean, I'm, I'm overheating. I, as fast as I drink, it sweats right out of me. Um, I feel like I could just close my eyes and go to sleep. So what I'm gonna do here, just relax. Let this heat draw, or this rock draw all my heat out. And um, take some water. And hopefully somewhere along this trail, I will have service to upload yesterday's video. So if you want to know where we are, obviously Gigi posts on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. 
so it could be real time updates as I send her pictures. So, all right, until I pull this out again and able to, I mean, I'm so sweaty. My pack is drenched. It probably weighs five pounds. Even the chest, chest pouch I take, it's just drenched. I'm, I'm pouring sweat. That's what it is when you're overweight, weren't ready for the trail, and you think you can do 14 mile days. Well, I might have to dial that back until I get some legs here. All right, so I made it to Annapolis Rocks. And that's all I could go. I was just totally, just totally out of it. I, I, I was completely exhausted. That humidity just beat me up. I don't know what it was. But um, I, I'm, I was just exhausted. Got the hammock set up. And I was doing a lot of stopping today. I mean, I come short from Pine um, Knob Shelter, just like two miles. But I really, I could not go any further. It was pretty bad. But, um, but since I was stopping so much, I kept checking my um, internet so I could, you know, try to upload a video. And I still can't upload a video. You know why? Because Verizon sucks. I sit in my house. I can't connect to Verizon. I have to use my Wi-Fi. If I'm outside, what what I put up? Ten videos already? Six of those were on Wi-Fi. Because we don't have any service. Uh, you know, it, it's one thing to say you're the best. But when I can't upload and we're paying over $300 a month to you, for what? For what? I can get another carrier pay half as much and not load up videos because right now I'm paying you premium dollars and I can't upload videos. Verizon, you suck. So let's see. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I, I have to see how I feel. I mean, I, I literally took a beating today just from the humidity. It was pretty bad. So, But I can't get a video up anyway because I have no service barely enough service to text Gigi that's that's real good 300 plus dollars a month or what I could do that with a track phone all right grumpy out because I am grumpy now